Welcome back to Harris Chester. And as you can see, the sights and sounds of people making money. So come on out and grab some. Remember, money won is better than money earned. So come on out either to Harris Chester or Mohegan Sun Pocono Downs. So now let's go north up to Mohegan Sun Pocono Downs and see what happened on Saturday, one of two open handicap paces. Two late scratches reduced the field to seven. Transcending was the eight to five chalk with Matt Kigali, the new kid in the block. Tidewater Tomahawk with Tony Morgan and Dial or No Dial, which I believe is your favorite college horse, right? Love him. Love that horse. Bombs away, Jose. Southern Miles with Anthony Napolitano Jr. That's Georgie's brother. Lit up the tote board with a 48-80 mutual as the longest shot on the board. Winning at 151-3. and three. But the big story on Action News was that if you put the favorite in all three money slots, your investment was 90 bucks and your reward, 515 bucks. Nice. And the crowd goes wild. <laughs> Let's stay at Mohegan Sub Pocono Downs. Another open, and Heather's got that for you. I do. Mr. Hollowell is the favorite, and here he won this event last time out. Golden Receiver ships into Pennsylvania after racing in New Jersey recently. And Western Bay has second itis. This horse has been second six times out of its last seven stars. Golden Receiver handles the 5 8 mile track with ease. He ends up wiring the field. <laughs> Uh, Western Bay was the longest shot on the board, and he finished second. He was 32 to 1. Did he finish with ease? <laughs> Mucho sleazy was third. He was also a long shot, and he was 25 to 1. Let me just tell you, the 573 trifecta, $2,600, baby. Uh, there are big long shots coming in all the time at Mohegan Sun and Pocado Downs. Get out there. Check out their live racing Tuesday, Wednesday, Friday, and Saturday. The post time's at 6 30 p.m. Saturday night racing. I love going to the track on Saturday night. I think there's no money here to be made at Harris Chester. Well, you might live closer to Pocono. I don't know. Well, you know, <laughs> the big thing was is that yesterday Harris Chester opened up. Now, of course, we taped the show a few days before that. So it's pretty obvious that we had to break in in order to do the show. That's but, right. hey, we did it for you. Can you imagine having no show at 10.30 on Saturday? It'd be awful, right? Well, let me tell you that the Harris-Chester schedule, now it's at 12.45 post time. It's in the afternoon. And the live racing is Sunday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. You mean it's not 12.45 in the middle of the night? <laughs> <laughs> you got me. All right. And speaking of Harris Chester, yeah, open and ready for action. And, of course, the best harness horses in the world are here, along with the best driver colony. And the creme de la creme at the very top is Tim Tietrick, the guy who won more races in one year than any harness driver in history. And he'll be here as a regular driver and part of this colony. And our Bruce Casella caught up with Tim Tietrick to find out what's on his mind and what he thinks is going to happen this coming meet. How was your winter and spring, Tim? I was good. Uh, last part of November, December, I took off, went back to Illinois and visited family and uh, just enjoyed my time off. And January, I started back racing Meadowlands, and it's been an okay year so far. Glad you're back here. Absolutely. It's a great place to race. People are very nice, and, you know, I do very well here, so it's a nice place to get to compete. What are your thoughts about going back to day racing here? Well, it, it opens up some things. I get to, uh, you know, do some more double headers, race Meadowlands at night and here during the day. and. You know, it works out for me here this year. I'm going to get Monday and Tuesdays off, so uh, I'm going to have to work five days a week, uh, double headers on a, two or three of them. But it'll be good, and I'm excited to get to compete. Thank you, Tim. When we come back, we're going to have Jen Sherlock will be joining us, and she's going to talk to you about qualifiers. Now, you might think about qualifiers maybe with harness racing, or it may be what kind of guy qualifies to date her. I don't know. We'll also have the coach, E.B. Helm, and see if he can make us some money this week. So don't go away. So it's legal litigator looking for the upset, but he's starting to feel the pinch now.